This video will show teachers how they can create a student annotations assignment using Canvas. So what that allows students to do is edit a PDF that you provide to them and they can put comments on it, they can draw on it, they can add text to it, and they can highlight different portions of that PDF. And you can get that from creating a Google Doc or a Google Slideshow and then downloading it as a PDF or pretty much any page that you have, you can create a PDF very quickly and easily. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new assignment and we'll call it annotations. I'm going to open up that assignment, click on edit. I'm going to put my very detailed directions right here so students know exactly what they need to do. I can change the point value, change what assignment group it's in, and then I'll go down to the submission type, click on online, and click on where it says student annotation. From there, you're given the option to either select from a file that you've already uploaded to your course, or you can click on upload file. I'm going to add a graphic organizer to this assignment that I've already created. I can check the rest of my settings and then click save and publish. From the student's perspective, what they see is your directions along the top and then they see the PDF that you have provided to them. They have these tools along the top to use when they are annotating. The first one is a place marker comment. So they can click on that, select a color they want to use, and then click anywhere on the PDF and then they can leave a text comment. Those appear over in the margins on the right. Next one they can do is highlight. So you can highlight some words and then it gives you a comment box over here if you want to add comments as well. And there's a text tool which you click on it, you click anywhere you want to start typing. You can hover over the text that you've typed and then when you see those arrows that look like this on the screen, you can move it around if you need to. You can also increase the size using these buttons up here, change the colors, add background to your text in case it's on another color that's hard to see. You can strike through text if you're editing something and you want to cross out some of the text that's in there. The next tool is a freeform drawing tool. You click on it and then you can select a color. You can choose the thickness of the line that you want to draw and then you can draw on the PDF just like so. And lastly there is this square tool where you can select something like this and add comments. So it's kind of just a, a way of calling out something that you want to edit or point out in your annotations. So then students, when they're all done, they simply click on Submit Assignment. And if they need to redo the assignment, they just click on New Attempt and they kind of get a blank new PDF to work off of. So let's take a look at what it looks like in the SpeedGrader for the teacher. So I'll leave Student View, open up SpeedGrader, and then I can see the annotations that the student did. In this example, they did two different submissions. So you can see we've got the text comments over here, the highlights, and some drawings. And in this annotation here, we have a selection that they made using that square tool right here, as well as a drawing. So that's everything you need to know about creating a student annotations assignment in Canvas.